Hi gang. It's me and Palmer. Hi. Oh my goodness, we've already worked out this morning. Let's just turn that music down a little bit, please. Uh, but what I think we'll do is for you today is I want to show you lots of different ways of working with weights, different in terms of changing the tempo, changing the amount of repetition. What you've got, got to always focus on is if the more you can fool the muscles, the better and more responsive they become. So if you want to develop biceps, don't just do straightforward bicep curls, change the tempo on it, change the angle on it, all right? So we're going to go through a whole sequence of moves. And don't forget, before you do this workout, you may want to actually do one of the other sections so you get a more complete workout, all right? But nothing to stop you joining us now. So let's just do some big arm circles, circle. Okay, it's just warming up the upper body. Most of this work is for the upper body. All right, we're using the dumbbells. And what I've got is I've got three different size weights that we're using. This Palmer's got some cans and some small dumbbells. Reach up and come down, like so. All right, good. And we're gonna do this from the chair, because you see, I always think that people underestimate how effective the chair is. When you're working out in the chair, you tend to isolate the particular muscle you're working on. So in other words, when you're standing up and you wanna lift up the weight, you can bring so many other muscles into play. But when you're down here, you have to use that specific muscle. Okay, good. All right, so here's what we do. Just quick warm up on the biceps, real quick. So you, the warm up is just basically following the action you're gonna be doing. Lateral raise, up and down like so. All right, that's real good, you're doing well. Okay, lateral raise, alternating hammer curl. With a hammer curl, think of a hammer hitting. All right, good. For the triceps, you can stick it behind you, lean forward, and you're extending the arms out behind you. All right, do that a few times, and then you can hold it up here. That action will bring it down behind your head. As long as you can see your elbows, you're working the, the backs of the arms, all right? Good, okay. Let's just start with straightforward lights up curls. And I'm going to just bring my legs together at the front. I'm sitting at the edge of the chair. Now, you've got to check your posture. Make sure that you're nice and straight in your back. So imagine there's an orange between your shoulder blades and just gently squeezing out the juice and slightly release that. Palms up to the ceiling. You're going to tuck your elbows in. Here we go. Go up and down. And up. Now, full range of motion is important. I'm sure you've been to the gyms where you see these guys really huge biceps, right? Often they don't do a full range of motion. So the full range is you come up the top, drop it all the way down. Let it all the way down. We're going to do everything in 12s today. Four more. Three. Uh -huh. And two. And one. Now, I'm going to go slightly heavier. But look what I have here. I've got these two bottles, which are heavier. I'm not sure what the weights are, but they're heavier than the other ones I was using. But you can do the same thing. We want to overload the muscles. Here we go. Up. And again, it's a hammer curl position. And the wonderful thing about these bottles is you can hold them by the neck and the weight distribution on the muscle is different. And the wonderful thing about using weights is this. When you're resting, your body's still burning calories. That's important. And eight. I want to do the last one. I'm going heavier still. But this time, we're going to change the tempo. All right, so it's hammer curl position. You've got to come up a bit and up to the shoulders. Halfway and down. Come halfway. So your stomach has to be tight here. All right, you don't want to flop around. You've got to stay up and up. Come on. That's good. Here we go. Come halfway and then up all the way. Halfway and down. Coming up. Uh-huh. Halfway and down. Coming up. Yes. Then what we're going to do is all the way up. Seven. And down. Eight. Thank you. All the way up. Four. Oh my goodness. Three. Yes, yes, yes. Two. Uh huh. One. Put the waist down. Let it stretch out. Right? For everything to be effective, you want a nice little rest period in between each set that you're doing. So you're pushing the backs of your hands away from you. That stretches out the front of the arms, right? Okay, we're now going to do shoulder press, but what I don't want you to do is this. I don't want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together, I want you to keep your elbows slightly forward of your shoulders, because a lot of people are having problems with their shoulders, so what I want to do, I'm going heavy on this, 
Okay, so you slide it forward, you push all the way up, come all the way down. Bring the elbows down to your side. If the weight is too heavy that you're using, there's nothing wrong with switching to a lighter weight and do the same thing. Five. Uh-huh. Six. Come on, push all the way up. Seven. Yeah. Eight, four more. Four. Yes, that's good. Three. Two. Let's rest down a moment, we're going to do that again, but this time I'm going to change the tempo on it. You're going to find it's pretty tough this way, all right? So I'm going slightly lighter on this one. Here's what you do. You're going to go up all the way, all the way up, two counts down, all the way up, two counts down, all the way up, three. Now this time, what you're going to do is this, you're going to come up a bit, up a bit, straight down, 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 rest it, good, you finally started to work, the shoulders are definitely working, alright, now, next exercise we're going to do, it's a frontal raise, you get the frontal deltoids to work. So go light initially, we don't want to overload it too much. Palms down to your knees, up, down. Take it up to shoulder height. Breathe out as you bring it up. The elbows are slightly bent. Look ahead. Five. Uh -huh. Six. I got no thought for the day. Seven. No oh, thought. Yeah. I know. Eight. Oh my goodness. Shall I make one up? with the one that you love. Uh, one. <laughs> you see, I said we buy you a Mother's Day present. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Two. Now, we're going to overload that muscle now by just changing the tempo. Look at the difference. You're going to come up a bit, hold it, and up, coming down a bit, and other side. Here we go. Coming up a bit, and up. That's overloading the muscle, yes? And that way you're fooling the muscle, you'll get much more results, much more response. Coming up a bit, up, and down. And then we're going to take it even further in respect of fooling the muscle. Take it up, and this time it's going to be fun. Both together, coming up a bit, up, and down, and down. Coming up. Now, you don't touch your leg down this time. Take it up a bit. Up a bit, shoulder height. No higher. Hold it there. Halfway down. Down, down. Coming up halfway. Yes! And rest it. Good. Let's relax that. Stretch your shoulders. Okay, good. Now, what I want to work the sides, all right? These are called your oblique muscles. They call them transverse muscles as well because it does work to pull your stomach flatter, all right? So we're going to just initially just do this. Okay. And then you're going to go heavy if you like. Reach down. Reach down. Come on, let's go. Yes. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Hold the weights in this position. Weights together. Rotate. Other side. Rotate. Keep facing forward. Eight. Seven. Six. So you're overloading that muscle. Five. Uh, four. Three. Two. One. Good. We've got one more to do on this upper body. Here's what I want you to do. You take your hands out to the side, so it's way away from your body. Same hammer curl position. You bring it up to the shoulders and out. Up to the shoulders and out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Great. Now, one more exercise because I love you. Put all the weights on one side. Lift the leg up. Go up. Two, stomach tight. Three, four, five, six, seven. To make it heavier, push down on that weight. Oh! other side. So you put the weights on the other side and what you do is you work in those legs, all right? Coming up. Two, push down on the weights, make it heavy. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Come on, eight more, eight. I can feel it. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Put it down. Very good. Well done. Let's just have a quick stretch. Okay. Reach down between your shoulder blades. All right. And with the other hand, just push it down as you reach down. If that's a problem for you, take it across the body at the front. Other hand. Change around. Here we go. Reach down between your shoulder blades. Reach across the body. Feel that stretch. Okay, now good. Push forward with those hands, drop your head down, feel the stretch across the upper back. Take your hands behind, ease your elbows together at the back. Feel that stretch across the chest. Release that, just let the shoulders circle round and round like so. And then reverse that. And take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let's do it again. Deep breath in. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that, gang. It's just a little bit of weight training, which is really good for your upper body. Right? It really works. And remember, if you do that as often as you can, it's brilliant. If you can merge that with some of the other exercises, that is also good for you. I want to thank Miss P for joining me. Thank you for doing the alternatives and thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And we'll catch up with you guys soon. Say yeah.